Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today from Hasbro and Epic Games, we are featuring from the Fortnite Victory Royale series, Menace. All right, beautiful illustration on the front of the box. Uh, win a plastic free windowless package, <laughs> as you can see right here. Uh, they've done away with the window and all the plastic stuff. Um, on the side, or the corner actually, we have um, all the list of accessories. You have the weapon stand, uh, various maces, a uh, short sword, um, a spear, um, alternate head with the helmet, and I think that's the back bling, I think. And on the back, uh, more fig photography. Uh, we have the figure, we have Menace with the alternate uh, helmeted head. Uh, again, the additional accessories, and it's kind of cool that you see um, the big weapons rack down here. All right, let's get started. Um, so, one of the reasons why I bought this um, is because I like the accessories a lot. I think there's some crossover, you know, you could probably incorporate this into other uh, toy brands. Like, um, for example, with the weapons rack, you could probably use that with your Masters of the Universe. Or even better yet, Hasbro's been releasing a, a bunch of Dungeons & Dragons action figures. So I kind of feel like this action figure and these accessories are very, you know, similar in theme. So if you want to mix this action figure and its accessories with Dungeons & Dragons, go for it. Um, or if you're just a big Fortnite fan, I think this figure is well worth the purchase. You know, Hasbro... Hasbro's been cranking out some beautiful Fortnite figures since they've had the license. Um, you know, previously, McFarlane and Jazzwares had the Fortnite license, and both of them are producing excellent figures, res respectively. Uh, Hasbro had the larger 7-inch scale figures, and Jazzwares was doing the smaller 6-inch scale figures. And these Hasbro ones are great, you know. Um, they're, they're, they're very much in line. With the quality you'd expect from like a Marvel Legends or a G.I. Joe Classified series or a Star Wars uh, Black series. Uh, here's the plastic cardboard inserts. You're getting multiple paper tissue baggies. Let's remove those. Um, weapons rack. Weapons rack again. And then here's the figure. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Like, I don't mind the cardboard inserts and the all these tissue-wrapped accessories, but every now and then, they kind of, like, hide the accessories, and you want to make sure you don't accidentally throw something away. All right, so we have the short sword... And the spear in one baggie. Uh, this one has uh, the back bling, which is a shield. And then you have one of the maces. This one comes with the alternate portrait, uh, which is the helmeted head uh, with kind of like the flame on the upper halo and around the eyes. Mine's kind of warped. It's not, if you look at it, mine's kind of crooked. Uh, the crest above the helmet, it's on an angle. I might have to adjust that later. Not a big deal. Uh, I could just submerge that in hot water and just kind of rebend it back into place. And then we get the other mace over here. So you have two mace options. You have one that's kind of like flung out and swinging around. And you have another one that's kind of limp, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Over here we have Menace. Wow, great figure. This is something that you can easily blend into your like um, Dungeons and Dragons action figures. The scale it feels a little bit taller, but you know, um, you know, your argument could be that he's just taller because you know he's not a kid or a teenager like the other Dungeons and Dragons figures, or at least for the animated line. You know, you can even blend this into the live action one if you wanted to, 
Or if you want, you can pair them up against the recently released uh, NECA Ultimate War Duke figure. And then here's uh, parts for the weapons rack. Alright, let's assemble the weapons rack real quick. It seems like it's pretty self-explanatory. You have these large sockets on the bottom and smaller ones on top. And then here, um, you have the smaller tabs towards the top and then the larger ones on the bottom. And it should plug in just like this. Right, this am I doing this wrong? Maybe it's this one. And then the other one. Yeah, so there's two different sets, one's for the front, one's for the back, and they're they're fitted differently, so you just have to figure out which goes where. A uh, great sizable prop. I think this would be a great accessory for like other toy lines like Masters of the Universe. Um, you know, if you want to put this in Castle Grayskull. I mean Castle Grayskull already comes with like a weapons rack, but you know, you can never have too many weapons racks. And you can just easily store the weapons on it. There's no real good way of doing it. You know, this guy doesn't come with any swords or anything, so. But it gives you an idea of what you could do, you know. It's cool, has function, and it breaks down so you can easily store it if you're not using it. Uh, accessories, let's take a look at those real quick. Uh, here are the two different maces. As we looked at earlier, you know, one's kind of more like neutral, another one you like a little bit more dynamic. So depending on the pose you want to, you know, put the character in. Or if you want, you could dual wield them. Uh, here's the back bling. It's pretty much just a shield. So like a, I think it looks like a lion on the front. And uh, these additional pieces... They're kind of glued onto the shield, so you can't remove them. Uh, here's the spear, very basic, very simple, nothing too fancy. I do like the shade of silver on the on the tip. Here's the alternate portrait, as we looked at earlier, flaming eyes, a, f a big large flame on the crest. But mine's kind of warped. As you can see, it's a little bit crooked. I kind of need to like submerge it in hot water and then reshape it back so it's uh, perpendicular to the front of the helmet. And let's take a look at Menace. Um, also comes with a knife. And then there's a scabbard on his left hip. So you can store that on his body. The sculpting is really well done on this figure. You know, let's see if you get him to focus first. Why won't you focus? All right, there you go. This guy does not want to focus. There you go. A beautiful head sculpt. This is a really nice head sculpt. This is easily on par, if not better, than some of the comic book um, Marvel Legends heads we've gotten. Uh, the armor is a little bit soft in the d sculpting on the unlike the body and on the armor you know I prefer I would prefer if the sculpting was a little bit more crisp a little bit more sharp like these details that accent the armor like these skulls and it's kind of like almost like Medusa mask they kind of almost like blend in with the armor because the sculpting is a little bit too soft you know it'd be nice if it was you know a lot deeper a lot more sharper but I think that's because of the nature of this plastic it's a softer plastic material and with softer plastics, you can't get those really sharp, deep cuts and hard edges. But the shade of gold is nice. You know, even though it's a pl that plastic gold, I think it, it lends itself well to this color scheme. And it provides excellent contrast against the purple accents of his armor. You know, with the ribbons and the scarf. Um, some nice brown leather for the under armor. Uh, leather straps for the loincloth. And you can see a nice texture along the purple trimming. Uh, it's almost like a cheetah or leopard print hide 
on the loincloth as well and on the back it's a nice detail again nice shade of brown for the leather under armor um, in terms of articulation his head rotates uh, does he look down looks down enough does he look up a little bit arms rotate but yeah they rotate all the way around they go out um, uh, they only go out so far I think that's because of all these extra armor pieces uh, there is a bicep cut underneath all that um, uh, looks like you're only getting a single pinned elbow uh, pinless design or a single joint elbow pinless design and it also has an additional swivel so in addition to having the bicep swivel you have an elbow swivel which is nice articulated wrists um, he has a cut um, does he have a mid torso cut? Oh yeah, he does have an ab crunch. You can see on the back, so he can arch back, arch forward. Not so much because of the the masks there, kind of like prevents it. it. Collides with the abdomen. Swivel at the waist. Legs kick up. They kick out. Uh, there is a thigh cut, upper thigh. So there's a swivel. Uh, double jointed knees, pinless design, so it's a lot cleaner and articulated ankles overall it's a very solid figure i think it's well worth the value um, just for the accessories alone i think it's awesome you know it's, it's like i said there's some crossover appeal here you know even if you're not into fortnite you could incorporate this figure into other toy lines you know um, he might scale all right uh, with a masterverse figure but he might be a little bit too short he'd probably scale well with the um, animated dungeons and dragons figures but he might be too tall compared to the kids but like I said, you get to say that, you know, since he's an adult, he's going to tower over the kids. Um, he'd probably blend in really well with the live action Dungeons and Dragons figures. And he might be an okay fit for the NECA line of Dungeons and Dragons figures. You know, he's going to be a little bit smaller, but at the same time, you get to say that it's because he's a plain, straight up human. You know, he's not like a demon or a monster. Overall, great figure, um, wonderful accessories. If I had to rate this guy on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, for me, oh man, an easy 9. I think it's a great figure. Great figure, great value. I think it's something that you shouldn't overlook, um, especially with the recent releases of all the Dungeons & Dragons figures. You know, if you really just want to build up um, a roster of fantasy characters in your toy collection, uh, I think this guy would make a great addition, you know, to your roster of fantasy-based characters. All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.